Hi everyone, it's Janine here, and in today's video we are going to be learning how to identify singular points in differential equations. And this is useful for when we are solving second order homogeneous linear differential equations using the method of series solutions. And so these types of differential equations have the following form. y double prime plus p of x, y prime plus q of x, y is equal to zero. And a point x0 is an ordinary point if p of x and q of x are analytic at x0. Otherwise, it is called a singular point. And analytic just means that a function has a power series representation at a given point. So let's go ahead and take a look at some examples and identify whether we have any singular points. So in this first example here, we have y double prime plus xy prime plus 4y is equal to 0. And so Notice here that p of x is just the function that is multiplying our y prime, and q of x is just the function that's multiplying our y. So here, we know that p of x is equal to x, and q of x is equal to 4. And so we know that p of x is defined for all real numbers. And we know that q of x is also defined for all real numbers. And so what this means is that we have no singular points. And now let's go ahead and take a look at this next example here. So we have y double prime plus ln of x y prime plus 2y is equal to 0. So here, q of x is equal to the natural log of x. And q of x is equal to 2. So we know from the graph of ln of x that we have a discontinuity at x equals 0. We have a vertical asymptote there, so x cannot equal 0. And then for q of x, this is defined for all real numbers. And because we have a discontinuity at x equals 0, this means that we have a singular point at x equals 0. Okay, now let's go ahead and take a look at this next example. So we have y double prime plus 1 over x y prime plus 3y is equal to 0. So here we have p of x equal to 1 over x and we have q of x equal to 3. So we know that p of x is not defined at x equals 0. We have a vertical asymptote there, so x cannot equal 0. And then for q of x, q of x is defined for all real numbers. And so we have a singular point at x equals 0 because we have a discontinuity there. So we have a singular point at x equals 0. Okay, and now in this next example here, we have y double prime plus e to the x y prime plus 5y is equal to 0. So here, p of x is equal to e to the x, and we have q of x is equal to 5. And so p of x is defined for all real numbers, and q of x is also defined for all real numbers. So what this means is we have no singular points. And let's go ahead and take a look at one more example. So in this last example here, we have y double prime plus 3y prime plus sine of x over x times y is equal to 0. And this one's a little bit tricky. So let's go ahead and start off by identifying p of x and q of x. So we know that p of x is equal to 3, and q of x is equal to sine of x over x. And we know that p of x is defined for all real numbers. And here, for q of x, it's tempting to say that x is equal to 0 is a singular point because it makes the denominator equal to 0. But this one is tricky because if we actually take a look at the power series expansion of sine of x over x, this is what we get. 
So the power series expansion of sine of x is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fifth over 5 factorial and so forth. And this is all divided by x because we have sine of x over x. And so when we simplify this, we see that this x cancels out with this x in the denominator. So we just have 1. And then we have minus x cubed over 3 factorial divided by x, which simplifies down to x squared over 3 factorial, and then plus. And then we have an x to the fifth over 5 factorial divided by x. So that simplifies down to an x to the fourth over 5 factorial, and so forth. And so looking at the power series expansion of sine of x over x, we have 1 minus x squared over 3 factorial plus x to the fourth over 5 factorial and so forth. And so we can see here that this power series expansion is valid for all real numbers. So this means that the domain of q of x is all real numbers. And so because p of x and q of x are both defined for all real numbers, this means that we have no singular points. And so that is how you identify singular points in differential equations. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.